Uh, hello guys, um, today I'm going to be going over um, the chapter exercise of Unit 1 from uh, the College Panda SAT Math. Unit 1 is Exponents and Radicals. So let's just go over each question from the chapter exercise. Um, so first question, um, so I, re I recommend that you review the expo exponent rules and radical rules before uh, watching this uh, video um, so a to the power of negative half is basically 1 over a to the power of a half equals 3 and you get and a to the power of half is root a so I'll multiply that over you get 1 equals 3 root a and root a equals 1 over 3 square both sides a equals 1 over 9 so that answer to a is uh, b and I actually going to use a different color here. And number two, so what's the value of n? Well, it's obvious that there is a bunch of ones, but um, you have to count the number of ones. And basically, it's from 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 50. So you, you want to know how many even numbers are there between 2 and 50. And so going by the list, you'll see that there are 25 numbers. So you add the 25 ones. So you add 1 plus 1 plus 1 25 times, you get n equals 25. So the answer is C. Number 3, um, you factor out 2. So you have the same base. So you get 2 to the power of 2, 2 plus 3 plus 2, 2 to the power of 3, n plus 5, right? And now you can uh, cancel out these uh, bases. And you get 4n plus 6, uh, distributing the 2. 3n plus 15, distributing the 3. And n equals 9. So the answer number 3 is D. So number 4, we know from exponential rules that this can be simplified to 2x minus 1 equals 2 to the power of 3. Sim simplifying the basis, x minus 1, y equals 3. x equals 3 plus y. So the answer is A. Okay, um, number five, so what is the value of three to the power of x minus three? Well, this can be turned into three to the power of x over three to the power of uh, three, which equals to, and since we know three x, uh, three to the power of x is 10, it's, over, it's 10 over three to the power of three, which is 10 over 27, and you get, uh, yeah, 10 over 27, so the answer is C. Um, number six here, um, let's see. Um, sorry, I'm just doing, yeah, so multiply both sides, um, uh, equation. And so if you multiply both sides, uh, the right, the left-hand side is x to the power of five, y to the power of five, and the right hand gives 80. So multiply these two, the value it will be 80. So the answer to number six is D. So for this question, for number seven, you simply can plug in some numbers. So if you plug in um, A equals B, I equals two, sorry, B equals two, you'll get that the largest um, one is uh, B, which is 256. So the answer is B. Okay, number eight. So this can be simplified to x to the power of 2a to the root b, right? Because of exponential rules. So the answer is B. So um, let's do the rest here. So number nine, you can cube both sides of the equation. You get x to the power of 6 equals y to the power of 9. And y to the power of 9 is x to the power of 3z. So x to the power of z must equal x to the power of 6. And simplifying the base, 6 equals 3z, z will equal 2. So the answer to number 9 is d. So number 10, uh, we got more exponential rules. This one's a little bit tricky. So first of all, you factor out um, uh, 2 to the power of, two to the power of uh, x. So by doing this. Well, first you distribute this, right? Um, 
like so. Factor out 2 to the power of x. 2 to the power of x equals 2. 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 equals k times 2 to the power of x, right? And 2 to the power of 3 is 8, minus 1 is 7. So 2 to the power, two to the power of x times 7 equals k to the, two to, two to the power of x. So 7 equals k. And the answer to number 10 is c. So number 11, root x times root x. And we've written as root x times x to the power of a half. And you know this is uh, addition. So you get root x to the power of 3 over 2. Simplify the root. You get x to the 3 over 2 times um, to the power of 1 over 2. And you get x to the power of 3 over 4. And he, they want the exponent. So a equals to 3 over 4. And the answer to number 11 is b. Number 12, we can square both sides. Giving us um, uh, 4 times x plus 2 equals to 18, I believe, and then 4x plus 8 equals 18, and x equals 2.5. So the answer to 12 is A. So, last three questions here. Um, so, this one, um, so multiplying uh, is basically addition, right? So, x to the power of ac plus bc equals to x to the power of 30, simplifying the bases, ac plus bc equals 30, simplifying out c, we get c, c parenthesis a plus b equals 30, and a plus b is 5, so uh, 5c equals 30, and c will equal to 6, so the answer to number 13 will be c. And a calculator is allowed, um, but you don't really need a calculator here, so... Um, so n to the power of 4 equals to um, 20x. So you want to multiply both sides of this equation by n. So you get n to the power of 4 equals to xn. And n, x, n to the power of 4 is 20x. So 20x equals to xn. So n equals 20. But be careful here. They're asking for the value of x. So you just plug it back in and you get x equals to 8,000. And this one, uh, this one can be a little bit tricky. So... Again, you want to turn two equations to the same because there are two variables, two equations, so you know that this is solvable. So multiply both sides uh, by xy, this equation, so you get x to the power of 8y to the power of 7 equals to 3xy. And you know from this that uh, x to the power of 8, y to the power of 7 is equal to 333. So 3xy three, three equals to 333, and xy will equal to 111. And you don't need to find the, the separate values of x and y. And yeah, uh, that's it from uh, me for uh, Unit 1, X1 and Radicals chapter exercise. You can definitely check out our Discord and website and YouTube channel, surmount.1, for more free SAT content on December SAT on reading, writing, math. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.